maybe bounce back and have confidence that he can maybe endure and then produce a little bit quicker than most players. Yeah, De De Dest that. Destin, uh, let, let me ask you a question because um, I know you're big. You're big on Lonnie, right? Yeah, Lonnie Walker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, and we kind of touched on this um, last time. You know, whether it should be a three or a two. Do you think? Um, what would you think about him getting more run in the backcourt next year? And like, do you think, he, like, like uh, Rob kind of talked about, <coughs> wanting to be that alpha? Like, do you think he could be like an alpha? Like, what do you kind of see like as his team? So I know no. you're. I know you're big on it. So I want your opinion on that. No, no. When you say alpha, do you mean like personality wise, or you mean? I, I mean, like on the court, like we saw in that Houston game, where he just he 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 had that Manu. That was a Manu type game where he just said, like, "Screw all of you. I'm taking the ball and I'm taking over this game." And that's just what we saw Manu do so many times. And I, I think we can see him more. I'm not saying I expect 28 points a game against everybody, but I just think that if he's give gets more confidence and he's given more of a role that we can kind of see more of that alpha dog in him. But I don't, I wanted to see what you thought about that. Yeah. The, the alpha is definitely there. I think the only thing that holds it, and that's, this is not a knock on pop, but the only thing that holds it back is I think sometimes he's a little afraid of, of, of pop. Like sometimes you can clearly see when pop is like, dude, just do your thing. And he's out there, you know, kind of hesitant to just go straight in. Pop will pull him for not being doing that. Yeah, yeah, he he gets on to him for that because Popovich knows, and I think most of us probably agree that he's the most talented on the team. He he is the one that is going to be nasty. Where I was saying, do we need a lottery pick? I think he could be the one, like um, Harrison said. You know, he was supposed to be top seven. He could be that guy that should have been a lottery pick, and he goes out there and just kills it. But as far as is he going to be an alpha dog? Yeah. Yeah, he's he's definitely going to be the alpha dog. I know Dejounte Murray has took on trying to take on more of a leadership role verbally. Um, Derek White, you know, takes on leadership role as far as controlling the offense. But Lonnie Walker has the whole package. He can he can jump high. He can dunk on you. Um, he can shoot threes. He can shoot mid ranges. Uh, he can pass the ball. He can facilitate. He has everything, and he has the mentality where you hear him talk. And he, you could have sworn he was 10 years older than how old he actually is. So, I mean, other than his taste in music, you can't really tell that he. <laughs> so, well, and like, like you were saying, uh, I'll go back to something that was like trending on Twitter, Spurs Twitter for a while. When he got pulled in that Clippers game, uh, people wanted to harp on his defense. Uh, yeah, he made one minor mistake on defense that was not why he got pulled he got pulled because on the two preceding offensive possessions pop was screaming at him to go get the ball and do something with it and he just kind of ran around the perimeter and passed I and mean, he passed up an open three one yeah he had a guy blown by for an open dunk and passed out of it and i think that's the thing is like you said he's he's afraid and, and we talked about not knowing how good you are and he'll come into that but I think Pop is really trying to groom him to say, look, you can take over these games. You can be our guy. You just got to believe you can do it. Because he, like you said, he has every necessary skill to yeah. do that. Mm -hmm. If he does that, maybe we don't need a lottery pick. Yeah, he, he, no, he can he can score, like you said, from the three levels, right? Like at the rim, mid-range, and, and from the three ball. And what's so crazy is that the sample size that we've seen, we still haven't even seen him really work that mid-range game because those shots are selected for LaMarcus and DeMar. So, mm -hmm. so and, and then DeJounte next, you know what I mean? So it's like he doesn't get those looks unless they come naturally out of transition or things like that. But um, he he has those tools, man, and we've seen him do it all in the G League. So it's like, yeah, he has, he has the tools to be a 20-point-plus scorer a game. Because he can do that. I mean, he can get to the rim a few times a game, a couple threes, a couple mid-rangers, a couple free throws, and he's at 17 points every single night. You know what I mean? So he can do that probably, but, like, it's going to take time. It takes a development. He wasn't ready to do that this year. I think, like, for, for us to expect that of him was maybe a little bit, you know, uh, too much. But, I mean, to expect the minutes I don't think was too much to ask. But, but to expect him to develop so fast – we might have to be a little patient with him, and really, it's just going to depend on the when the opportunity comes. And I think he's he's always that guy that talks like, like you said, Dustin. He talks like 
like he studied with yoga like three years ago for for about five, uh, sorry yoga yoda <laughs> from star wars like yeah. uh for a few years you know he's like super zen you know what i mean he just he's not he's not worried he's he's patient he trusts the process and i think that it's it's just about being ready for the opportunity when he gets there um, but you know we're we're gonna wrap it up right here. Um, so let's go. We want to thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, let's start off with San Antonio Spurs talk. Harrison, uh, why don't you tell everyone else what you got going on? Yeah, real quick before I sign off, Rob, I was mm-hmm. gonna say we're talking about Lonnie at the end of this. Um, mm-hmm. Our next mailbag is gonna be on Lonnie, mm-hmm. so be on the lookout on every single one of our accounts uh, to submit us questions. You know, ask for feedback, what we think of Lonnie and his potential and all that. But you can submit your questions to us on facebook.com slash San Antonio Spurs Talk. On Instagram, we are at SA Spurs Talk. Twitter, same thing, but add a 21 at the end and you got it. Tyler, you're next, bud. I mean, man, we got some fun stuff in the in the pot brewing for all y'all. I know me and Harrison have been working on a, a little uh, something that we started teasing this past week uh, with our, our new show that we won't go into – too much detail about we want to tease it as we come along but we got some fun stuff planned for y'all and i bet everybody else here has a little something planned for y'all too so good time to jump on the train now mm-hmm. absolutely um maddie why don't you tell everybody what's going on at Spans, uh, spurs fan blog yeah we uh got our lonnie we're gonna actually come out with a lonnie milbeg uh blog post uh harrison tyler and i we're gonna go a little more in depth in the stuff we won't get in touch with here but we're actually gonna starting um a theme we're still kind of working out the details of it but we're going to be writing our articles on our favorite spurs team from the 2000s or you know the the forgotten spurs team that should have won a championship so if you guys have any input on there on teams that you know you want us to write about we're at spursfanblog.com on instagram at spursfanblog like everyone said before you know submit any questions you have or just if you have any thoughts or feedback or advice comments whatever we're always open to suggestions, you know, whatever you guys got, we always appreciate your time and we appreciate your support. So what's well, first fan blog.com at Spurs fan blog on Instagram. Destin talk to Spurs nation, man. Yeah. You can find me on Instagram Spurs dynasty Spurs wave, or you can find me on YouTube clan, the Spurs fan. And if you want to be in uh, the parody <laughs> music video that I'm doing, <laughs> there, <laughs> yeah, you, you need to just, just hit me up. Just send me a message, hit me up, and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna put you in there. <laughs> awesome. Um, you're promoting your rap, career. you're trying to get the, your uh, rap career started up on this. Aren't yeah, you? you can follow me on SoundCloud, man. I got <laughs> <laughs> your first your rap your your rap yo, last year for last year's first team. I listened to it, dude. Like you got some flow. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I appreciate it. You talking about Kelly? Yo, Dustin, somebody actually sent me that on uh, our <laughs> Facebook page, and they were like. Hey, can y'all post this on here? And I was like, I don't want to post it without his permission, but it was, <laughs> <laughs> Which one was it? I mean, I don't know. It, like I said, it was like a it year was some ago. Fan. But... <laughs> I think I think it was some fan. Yeah, they just DM'd us. They were like, yo, check this out. That's, That's awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'm Rob at buckingspurs.com. I got a new film room coming out soon. Been uh, going through the archives to show you guys what the pros and what the cons are of DeJounte Murray and Derek White when they're on the floor together and so maybe make a little bit more sense for y'all on why we saw it so late, didn't see so much of it in the future and whatnot. Um, but thank you guys for tuning in. This is Order on the Court. Like uh, we have, like everyone kind of said, we have so many things in store for you guys. Uh, live streams, content, you know, all these special Spurs content coming your way. So just stay tuned for that. We're looking on launching officially uh, somewhere around pre-draft, uh, whenever the NBA does announce when that's going to happen, we'll have a lot of special things coming your way. Uh, that's when you can go to our uh, site. It is up now, uh, but you can go to oocspurs.com. Thanks for tuning in. Go Spurs, go. Court is adjourned.